here. I'm going to be doing um, my eyeliner and red look. Um, look. I've already went ahead and um, primed. I went ahead and put my foundation on and I also did my brows. Now I'm going to put on my Lancome Absolute Lip Balm. I like to hydrate my lids uh, first if I'm going to be wearing like a matte lipstick all day. Um, but it's by Lancome. It's the Absolute Precious uh, Cells. It has honey and rose in it. So it's really good in hydrating for your lips. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I'm going to contour my face. Because my face after I get done it just looks like so blank. So I want to add some more to it. And sorry if you hear noises in the other room. My daughter's like right in the next room, so she's probably gonna make some noises, but ignore that, okay? So I'm gonna bronze up my face. I usually just put a chunk there. Also here too. Warm it up just a little bit. And then also like the top of my forehead. To that side and then to this side. Just to darken it up a little bit because this foundation the Fenty Beauty like it does give a flashback so it looks like it's a perfect shade though I will say that and it's a really good foundation it's really matte which I'm um, combination now I'm combination because where I used to live before I was like oily skin but now since I moved um, to another area now I have more um, combination skin so I'm more oily like in my t-zone and my cheeks are so dry so I have to do something different for my cheeks um, but yeah you see how like just putting something on my nose gives some type of warmth that's what I'm wanting to do so now that I'm done with that So now that I'm done with, um, make sure this is all blended. I'm going to wear just black eyeliner, and I usually want to more like it's done up, especially since I'm like such a busy mom. I don't have time to like do my makeup all the time. So um, this is a quick, simple look for me to make it look like that I took time, even though I didn't. Um, but I like to take some of my contour color and put it like just in my crease. And I just keep building it to how dark that I want it. I should have clipped my hair because it's like in the way. It's in the way. But it's okay. So well, everybody knows that I use the NYX matte um matte liner. This is my favorite liner. Um I also like the Lancome um I forgot the name. It's grandiose. That's also another eyeliner that I like, but when I run out of that one and I don't want to spend the money for it, then I get my NYX liner because for me, I feel like the formula is like the same um, and they both last. Um, one, I know someone said that with the NYX liner, 
one thing that issue that they had with the aligner um, is that it would crack and stuff throughout the day and I was like asking her did she set like did she set her concealer and stuff and she was like no I don't usually use powder on my eyes and I was letting her know like if you use something like a translucent powder and really set like set your eye um, if you set it really good with something then it can last longer um, and it won't create crack or anything so that's like one trick if you're finding that your NYX liner is like um, cracking throughout the day. Just make sure you pack on that powder on your lid. Let it sit and then take it off and then put your liner on. And get that um, cracking. So now I'm going to do my liner. Um, I don't know how I can do this for you guys to see. It's like really hard. Okay. <laughs> so what I like to do is go right in the inner, right here. And I just take my time. And depending on how thick I want my liner to be, um, I'll judge it off of that, but usually this is how I do it to get it started is I go from here over Some people like to start in the middle and then go over But I like to start it right here and then over because then it gives me um, Somewhat of a guideline of what I want to do and then I go right here And then I go right in between here and then I draw a line there Um so yeah, so I go right in here, not too close in there, and then draw a line there. And then after I draw a line there, it's like really hard to show you. <laughs> um, after I draw a line there, then I go sideways like this. I don't know if you can see. Then I go over like that to attach it. And then I fill in the piece here. And hopefully this video kind of showed you how I do my liners. I, if I feel like I made a mistake, I just go in and clean it off with something, but I rub it really hard, just right on the edge. Okay, so both sides are done so now I'm going to take my lash and I'm going to pop that on I don't know if you can see I'm gonna turn sideways Hopefully you guys can see I kind of guide where I want my lash to be like that so in, until the lashes like dry completely I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with the same thing that I always use um I kind of want to do it where you guys can okay there where you guys can see what I'm doing So I like to go ahead and brush all the brows upwards, the brow upwards, then I kind of screw, I go down like that, like right at the top of the edge, and then down. Then after I do that, kind of seeing how I do my brows, so it's nothing new. I always do my brows the same way. Because I don't like them to look like too heavy. Some t some days I want them to look heavy. And some days I'm like, girl, you trying it. So, now that my eyelashes have dried. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, blend these bad boys. But like I said, this is something like quick and simple. For me, it's taking longer because I'm recording but if I was to do this, like, get up, wake up, 
start my day and do this makeup look. It's really quick and simple and it doesn't take me long at all. Most of the time, I don't put highlighter on because my oils give me a natural glow. I don't know. It's kind of like when you sweat, you know? No, I, I'm just kidding. But um, after I finish my mascara, I go ahead and I highlight. I decide if I want to highlight or not. Sometimes, most of the time, I like a matte face. Like, I like it to look really matte, so I don't really care about a highlighter. But um, I'm going to use this highlighting. Well, I'm going to use this highlighting palette. Um, it's the Anastasia Beverly Lee Hills, the glow kit. And literally, I use this golden, it's so dirty, this golden bronze shade. It has hit pan. That's how much I love that one. Like, it gives me life, y'all. It gives me life. But yeah, that's the one I like. And then I like to mix, like, when I use it in the inner corner here, I like to take this golden um, bronze one and then the um, bubbly one and mix it together. It has literally hit pan because that color is my favorite one to use for highlight. And like I said earlier, if you guys hear my um my little one, she's watching movies in the other room. So I'm sorry if you hear her little voice. And then I literally like just a little bit on the tip of my nose, just a little bit. And then so I'm here. And this brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques. It's the detailing brush. Um, it's by Real Techniques though. I use a lot of Real Techniques brushes. I only own like two IT brushes and the rest are like drugstore. Because I love drugstore. Girl, you can't go wrong with drugstore. Okay, now up to the night. Now we're getting to the final thing, which is the lips. You know, got put some note. I wipe the, I wipe whatever's on my lip off. Cause I don't, I mean, I want it to last. So I don't want to keep whatever's hydrating on my lips cause it won't last. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Melted Matte. This shade is, I don't know. It literally like wiped off. Oh, drop dead red. It's right here, but the label is like wiped off. So, but yeah. So I'm going to use drop dead red. And you have to like be extra careful with this lip girl. Uh, so that's like the lip color. Okay. And I just fill it in. Bottom lip. And that's basically it for my lip but I'm obsessed with this lip color this is my favorite lip my favorite lip but yeah um I usually like when I find a red lip I stick to it like I don't know what's my issue with red lips but I love red lips I do so that's basically it to this video it was very simple it was just my eyeliner contour highlight 
type of thing. Um, far as like my highlight, I don't usually put it on my high cheekbone if I have my hair down. The reason why is because it just rubs it off anyways. And I ain't got time. Like, I really don't. Unless my hair is in a cute bun, then I will put the highlight. Or if I'm feeling myself that day, then I'll put a highlight. Um, but this is basically it. I'm going to be doing a video about um, what red lips are good for um, any woman of shade of color. Because these lip colors that I'm going to be using are universal. But if you're like my shade of tone too, and you're just like, I don't know what shade of red to use. I have so many reds, I'm obsessed with reds. So um, even like burgundy shades, like right now I have on a burgundy red shade. Um, but if you're looking for that perfect like burgundy or red lip, um, I'm going to be doing a video for that soon. I'm not sure when, but I know I will get to it and I'll do a video about that. But today I just did um, this good, this look. So this is usually my go-to look when I'm just trying to look snatched up for that day. My lip, my eyeliner, and my lashes. All right, well, thank you for watching this video, and if you can, please give me some thumbs up and subscribe. And also, go ahead and hit the notifications so you can see when I have next videos coming up. Me and Lee will be doing more videos soon also, so you'll be seeing that too.